the total cheesiness without actual cheesiness. Piece of tape across his mouth.
What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I am super excited to be partnering with Daily Harvest, whom if you haven't seen their like Instagram ads, I've been seeing them for years. I've been wanting to try them forever. It's just one of those things that kept going by the wayside, kept forgetting to order it. And then they reached out and I was like, perfect, now I get to try all of their stuff, which is all dairy-free, gluten-free, and plant-based. So today I wanted to hack four different collections from Daily Harvest. So we have the Harvest Bowl, which is broccoli and cheese, not real cheese because it is plant-based. I ended up adding oat milk to keep the plant-based theme and to add to the sauce. I also added some pasta water and added extra nutritional yeast just to give an extra big bump of cheesy flavor. Then with their Harvest Flatbreads, I hacked it by adding an egg on top. You could also add meat to the top of this. You could fold it in half and make it into a panini you could add meat to the broccoli cheese. I think it'd be really good with chicken, especially a rotisserie chicken, which is super easy to just like grab at the grocery store, take home. Their oat bowls collection. So I just took an oat bowl and made a cupcake out of it. I mean, literally just poured the entire oat bowl into the blender, added some egg, some baking powder, almond milk, blended it up, turned it into cupcakes, and then I made a maple cinnamon cream cheese frosting to go with it and then i hacked their smoothies this is a carrot and mandarin smoothie that i have added orange wine to a little bit of cardamom bitters and some grand marnier otherwise known as grandma no one's grandma was hurt in the making of this one. all right guys let's go ahead and get started i've got my mac and cheese spoon because this is mac and cheese See the steam. Mm. So while we're eating, we can kind of talk about all of the ingredients, the main ingredients that are used. You can very clearly see how fresh they are. I don't know if you guys saw when I was making the smoothie, the entire fig that was in there. It was a good size fig. Oh my gosh, this is so hot. Mm. All right, guys. Cheers. Mac and cheers. <laughs> mm. It has a nuttiness to it. The nutritional yeast, which is one of the main ingredients in this bowl, it bears a striking resemblance scent-wise to a packet of mac and cheese boxed like powder. That's pretty much where the similarities end, but it smells like exactly like that. So adding it in, it's like total cheesiness without actual cheesiness. And then they also have sunflower seeds in here, which also adds like a nice nuttiness, which is a quality that cheeses typically have, like a nuttiness or some of them anyways. Creamy. So you notice I removed the broccoli from the mix and that's really just because I didn't want to turn it a color for the camera. But you guys could totally just add the broccoli into the pot and do an immersion blender situation to the whole thing. The cauliflower and the butternut squash really not only give that like cheesy look but also like thicken the sauce too. Really comforting.
The orange wine with this, by the way, so good. For anybody that's not familiar with orange wine, it's basically white wine with the white grape skins added back in. So you kind of get like that tanniny quality that you get with red wine, making it super, super versatile. I would feel comfortable having it with a steak or fish or a salad. It's just a really like great all around wine. Thank you to Food Lovers Diary, Emily, for bringing that into my life. Mm. Oh my gosh. And the fruit, I love that there's fruit and vegetables in here. I absolutely love mandarin oranges. I eat a mandarin orange pretty much every day with cottage cheese. So there's carrots, mandarin, fig, lemon. Of course you saw the fig, lemon, turmeric. And then I added this little like twisty cue thing of orange zest just right on the top. That's so good. <laughs> the cardamom and the grandma too are just like giving that extra oomph. And the really cool thing you could do with this, if you don't finish it all, you can actually pop it in an ice cube tray and freeze them like that. And then you can just re-smoothie them when you're ready. So, so good and so refreshing. Not too sweet either. I hate things that are too sweet. All right, let's slice into this. I want there to be half a yolk in each slice. I'm gonna do one of those. Mm. I'm so ADD, I see mac and cheese and I forget what I'm doing. So this was actually, it was two harvest bowls and one pound of pasta. So you don't have to stretch it out this far if you don't want to, but it does show that it can stretch that far, especially with help of some oat milk, some pasta water to really help make the sauce go further. It'll be even saucier. I mean, you could add more pasta water, more oat milk if you wanted more sauce in here with the pound of pasta, but for half a pound, you would barely need to add anything. This crust is made from sweet potato, just to let you know. And they have red, I'm not sure if it's red or purple cabbage. I mean, it is purple, but I feel like the name of the cabbage is red cabbage, maybe. There's coriander on here, spinach, Mm. I feel like coriander is just one of those underused things. Whenever I'm making anything that's like <laughs> Mexican, Southwest, what have you, if I'm making chili, it just has this amazing flavor, amazing flavor. I put it on like in my grit bowls when I do grits. I'm Put do cumin and coriander. That's like my the duo. There's actually cumin in this too.
who got a floater. Also, in the short time that I bartended, I learned that if you take an orange peel, and really you should like put a flame to it first, but if you get an orange peel, flame it, and then twist it so that the orange part is facing your cocktail. If you look closely, you'll see it spray all of the amazing essential oils. So that scent just goes throughout the glass. And then you kind of like rub that area that you twisted along the edge of the glass too for extra orangey flavor. And then just pop it right in. I should have used the flame for the theatrics especially. This is so good. <laughs> I feel like this would be amazing also with vodka or tequila or gin. I feel like I'm seeing things. I thought I saw my cat in the corner of my eye. Nothing there. Mm. So immediate plans for me. Next month, this is September 29th, that I'm filming this by the way. But next month in October, I am going to Alabama, <laughs> really random, to visit one of my really good friends who just moved there not too long ago for her birthday. So Montgomery, Alabama, here I come. And then the weekend after that, I have a wedding, my cousin's wedding, one of my cousin's wedding in Connecticut. And then the following weekend, I have another cousin's wedding in Florida. So I'm just going to be zipping around all over the place. Just going for the weekends. Obviously, I can't be away that long. It just like stresses me out thinking about being away that long. I don't know how people travel full time. I mean, they definitely don't have pets, is all I'll say. And if they do, they have to take their pet with them. It, it stresses me out so much. Maybe if they were like with my parents, but then I would just miss them. I feel like there's like a level that they're like your kids even though like real people I'm sure you care about more. I say this because I've never had a human. <laughs> I only know how much I care about my pets. really happy about the shell situation. Just a classic noodle for mac and cheese. This is so good. With the egg especially, it's amazing. It's got this amazing, obviously very fresh. Like everything just tastes super fresh here. You got a nice crunch from the cabbage on top. You have on so many tangents, I can't tell what the last thing I was talking about was. In November for Thanksgiving, if I didn't already mention it, me and Shane are going to Vegas. They had this amazing deal going on. So we got a nice sweet, the Nobu sweet. <laughs> at Caesars Palace. So that's exciting. And then we're going to see four shows. We're getting there on Wednesday night, leaving Saturday night. So we're leaving a little bit early, mostly just because of like flight prices and whatever. We're going to see four different shows and I'm super pumped. I'm super pumped about them. good leftovers. 
So the first night, I believe we're going to see Tape Phase. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know Tape Phase. This is from America's Got Talent. He didn't win or anything. He was a mime. And he had like a piece of tape <laughs> across his mouth. So he's like, he can't talk because he's a mime. And he's got this like really aggressive makeup on, I want to say, around his eyes. He is so funny. So funny. How does somebody be so funny and not say anything? It's just very impressive. So we're going to go see him. And then we're going to see Bill Maher. I never really talk about anything political. I'm pretty moderate myself, which I think most people are. Anyways, Bill Maher, I feel like, is fairly moderate. Whatever he is, he's so down to earth and he's really funny and he's like no nonsense, calls it like it is. I just really appreciate that about him. So anyways, we're going to see him because he's going to be in Vegas. So we're going to be able to watch him. And then the second night, me and Shane, obviously, are huge fans of America's Got Talent. I don't know if you guys are too. But that's how we discovered Tape Face and all these other people. They have like their own little variety show in Vegas. I think it's like at the Luxor or something. So we're going to see that. And then afterwards, we're going to see like maybe one of the best shows I've ever seen. It's called Absinthe. And it's outside of Caesar's Palace, which is like right where we're staying. So super convenient also. But it's just in this tent outside the hotel. Very unassuming. It's like the best. It's funny. It's like got Cirque du Soleil elements throughout the whole thing. It's very like adult humor, which I love. It's just like seemingly got everything. And it's been named like one of the best shows or the best show in Vegas by a lot of different people and Shane's never seen it before so I'm really excited to be bringing him to see that. Look at how tiny these cupcakes are. Okay so I suppose I could have filled them up taller but I'm always told to fill up a cupcake tin three quarters of the way so I feel like there's a leavening thing that we can do here. Maybe more baking powder, combination of baking powder and baking soda. Leave it in the comments. Help a girl out. I had one already, I'm not gonna lie. And they are delicious regardless. They're not tough, they're moist, and the ratio is pretty on point. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you see it? Do you? Oh yeah, look at that swirl. By the way, I hacked the frosting pastry bag situation as well, just a Ziploc baggie. Turn it inside out, put all of the filling inside, close it all up, bring it all to one corner, and then you just snip the end off, the corner off that you moved everything to, and then you just pipe it on. I really wanna get like a reusable one though, because I really hate how much plastic we use, I mean, especially plastic bags. I'm going off on a tangent again. It tastes like both pumpkin bread and carrot cake at the same time. So there's kabocha squash in here, which is, you know, pumpkin squash. It has generally the same kind of characteristics. That's why it's got that like pumpkin-y flavor. There's also raisins in the mix too that I added right into the blender. That added some really amazing sweetness. The squash adds sweetness too, so I didn't add any extra sugar into the actual cupcake mix. There's pecans in here too, obviously like chai spices, like cinnamon, nutmeg. There's so much frosting. You obviously don't have to frost these, but you can use a vegan cream cheese. An egg substitute if you're plant-based.
Seriously, so good. Hitting all the spots and I didn't use real sugar in the frosting. I used a stevia powdered sugar. So it's just cream cheese, the stevia powdered sugar, a little maple syrup, some cinnamon. That's it. It's a little bit looser, I think, because I added the maple syrup. So you might want to add maple extra to make it a little bit tighter. But other than that, the taste is on freaking point. It feels very fall, doesn't it? All the things. I want a couple more bites of mac and cheese, but I'm slowing down. Everything's really good guys, especially considering like I'm a person that uses a lot of butter, a lot of cheese, and this is still super satisfying to me, which is great because I really am trying to get more fruits and vegetables into my life. Thank you to Daily Harvest, by the way, for sending me so much stuff. I have several more things to try from them. There's more oat bowls in my freezer, more smoothie, things and if you call them cups or bowls you can make a smoothie or a smoothie bowl out of them i have a couple harvest bowls left a couple flatbreads you know like chefs often get asked what do you make for your family at home and like i feel like half the time chefs are like yeah i pour like a bowl of cereal <laughs> for myself or i order takeout or something just like super fast super easy because at the end of the day they're like don't want to keep cooking they've cooked all day they cooked all night whatever it is and so for me i feel like it's kind of the same i cook for a living more or less and i don't want to a like go berserk in the kitchen on an off night because it just takes time and then i've spent all the time cleaning up so it is really really nice to have things that i can just literally pull out of the freezer and prepare really really quickly i sort of live on that kind of stuff and leftovers every other time i'm not filming unless i'm like going out to dinner or something so per the text overlay at the beginning of the video i have a discount code for you guys of course the code is super simple it's just hunger diaries and it will get you up to forty dollars off of your first box with daily harvest you can choose a plan that gives you nine 9, 14, or 24 items that you can get weekly or monthly. The deliveries are really flexible too, so if you need to like skip a week, add an item, change an item, what have you, you can do that too. I feel like Mary Poppins when the train goes by. Everything shakes just a little bit. So yeah, they have tons of things to choose from. I think it, for any given like meal, they have like 90 different options for you to choose from. Anyways, guys, I will leave that code, Hunger Diaries, along with the link for you to check Daily Harvest out in the description of the video. Really happy that I finally got to try them out. It's something that I would definitely be getting for myself. I'm just really impressed with what I was able to do with everything. I really, really love this flatbread. I'm excited to try more of their harvest bowls. As far as vegan mac and cheeses go, this is like really on point. Super comforting, still tastes cheesy. And again, you can make this go really far. Like this is easily at least four portions, at least in my household, it might be like, all right, it might be like three portions in my house, but it could very easily be like six portions in someone else's house. I filled the spoon up. What was I supposed to do?
I hope you guys enjoyed my feature of these Daily Harvest collections. You guys will have to let me know if you end up getting some for yourself. I want to know how you like the things, if you hacked them like I did. Comment below which thing you'd go for first here. Which are your favorite? Which are the things that you feel like you'd like the most? Of course, comment below more suggestions for fall themed recipes, Halloween recipes, Thanksgiving recipes. Very excited to be getting into the fall season, but really, really dreading the time change that is about to be on us. It's gonna get dark at literally like 3.30 p.m. It ain't okay. All right, guys, well, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for joining today. You guys are just the best. I really appreciate, especially for videos like these where I'm doing a promotion, it really means a lot that you come and show your support. This is how I make my living. All right, guys, thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye, guys.